Hello everyone and welcome to Andrew's Answers and welcome to my one year anniversary episode. Uh, I can't believe a year has passed and how much this has been transformed over the past year. Uh, I've got about 70 or 80 videos done now and uh, most of what I've done is really thanks to you. Thank you to everyone who's been following along, uh, providing feedback, input, ideas. Uh, it's been invaluable. Uh, you uh, are well aware of what the transformation of this has been like. Uh, so folks, if you wouldn't mind before I get started, Click subscribe, it'll help you follow along. It'll also give you access to my uh, video uh, library. Like I say, there, there's probably between 70 and 80 videos there now. Most of it is on real estate, uh, but there's lots of great tips and ideas there. There's a buyer's university there, and it's universally applicable information no matter where you live. But today's episode is actually from an idea that was sent in to me uh, by uh, David. Uh, David is from Newfoundland, no longer lives here, uh, well, he and his family. And he said he always gets interesting questions about uh, Newfoundland, little uh, maybe myths or misunderstandings. And I thought it might be a bit of fun to do something that's uh, a little bit lighthearted, maybe poke a little bit of fun at ourselves, and uh, but also provide you some information uh, about the province, about some of our traditions, and etc. And uh, yeah, we'll have a bit of fun. If you find this entertaining or interesting, or if there's somebody in your life that you think, hey, this is really what it's like uh, at home. So if you're a Newfoundlander, uh, living abroad or even if you have someone living abroad go ahead and share this with them on your social media that would be great and thanks very much okay let's start it off most people in the country are aware that newfoundland is an island off the east coast we are not physically connected in any way shape or form we don't have a tunnel we don't have a bridge not yet and we are the most easterly point in north america so i tell people we are as close to europe as you can be without going for a swim and uh, as of 2019, there are 521,542 of us. So for a province that's as big landmass as we are, there aren't a whole lot of us. And uh, really, about 92% of the population live on the island portion, and then the greatest, more than 80% of those live on the Avalon in the Northeast Avalon. Famous for a lot of things, famous for our food, famous for our hospitality, and we are famous for our screech rum. Uh, it's only blended and bottled here in Newfoundland, and we do use it as part of our honor honorary citizenship ceremony, which is known as a screeching. And uh, if you ever have the good fortune of coming and taking part in one of those ceremonies, you'll uh, quickly understand why we call it that. And it's a ceremony where you dress up, you kiss the cod, drink the screech, you get a certificate, and you become an honorary Newfoundlander. But in all fairness, even though we are famous for our codfish, and it is uh, really something to behold, we still have a recreational cod fishery, which is, uh, which is great. But if you're going to kiss this, this is how I recommend you do it. First-hand knowledge and information. So if you're going to come and kiss the cod, I would do it this way. You'll be glad you did, and you'll thank me for it. So this is the capital city. This is St. John's, St. John's Harbor. Uh, this is the view. Uh, for those of you who have been here, this is from Signal Hill. Uh, Signal Hill is a historic site. It's a it's a national park. Uh, it was occupied uh, by a British garrison in the 18th and 19th century, uh, and now there's a, there's reenactments up there in the summer. It's a great thing to to visit if you get an opportunity. And then you'll you'll see uh, down here, this is uh, our biggest industry uh, is oil. It's about 85% of our economy, and there's a lot of uh, supply vessels come and go uh, all the time. When you think Newfoundland, uh, you typically think rugged coastline and uh, the great outdoors, and you wouldn't be wrong because we have 17,542 kilometers of coastline. So if you're coming and you want to walk the beach, you better have good shoes because you're going to be here for a while. But let's talk about cost of living for a moment. A lot of people go online, they're thinking, hey, Newfoundland sounds like a nice place. There's not a lot of people there, you know, there's, there's great outdoors, there's, there's lots of nature and fresh air. You're absolutely right, but this is where the cost of living comes in. So you might go in and do a search, and this is what you're thinking. Great little uh, rural community, you know, where people are friendly and, you know, it's, it's nice and easy. And you might think that you're going to get one of these for very little money. And you'd be wrong. Because if you want to live within any proximity to uh, services and uh, the city, and I'm talking, you know, proximity, not not uh, not in the center of the province. If you want something like this, it's going to cost you a couple of hundred of these, 
and I'm serious. Uh, a lot of people don't realize uh, that real estate here isn't nearly as inexpensive as you may think. Now, you get into some very, very small removed communities, you might find them uh, less expensive, but there's really nothing around. That's not to say that's not what you're looking for, but if you are looking for uh, a lifestyle here where you can have access to the capital city and uh, the uh, health services and those sorts of things, uh, it really is not that cheap. This is what I wanted to show you. So the average price of a home in the province is $243,016. That's as of October 1st. And in the St. John's and surrounding area is 304,381. So again, just trying to basically set the record straight. That's what it's going to cost to live here. And ocean view properties, the nice ones, typically are higher than the average prices because even though we have all that coastline, it's really not that easy to find something on the water that's nice, in great shape, um, close to uh, St. John's and surrounding. Something else that's really important to know, like the cost of groceries and things here, yes, some things are a little bit more expensive. One thing you have to remember is everything that comes into this province has to be shipped by boat or by plane, and that affects a lot of our costs. Now, some things like milk and, and, and those are done locally, but even two liters of milk here is going to cost you $3.60. And we can't buy four liters, they only come in one and two, so on and so forth. So there are little little things about the, our, our cost of living here that you might uh, find a bit of an adjustment to. But as you get used to living in any community, you get used to the pros and the cons. Cost of gas. So as of today, uh, the price of a liter of gas is $1.23, or as they like to do, 122.9, because that really makes a difference. Uh, which is still cheaper than living in Vancouver and a lot of other jurisdictions uh, across the country. Electricity. Well, it's still cheaper right now than it is in a lot of parts of the country. Uh, it's become a bit of a uh, round the table topic, we'll say, because of Muskrat Falls. And they're talking about uh, costs going up. The reality of it is we need electricity and the costs are going to go up. Uh, I don't think it's going to be nearly as uh, significant as the uh, news media might make it out to be, but uh, time will tell. I mentioned earlier there are only two ways in and out so you either come by boat or by plane and that takes some getting used to. Specifically uh, we live at the end of the earth. We are one of the four corners and we're a small population so with that becomes a limited supply of flights so when you are leaving you are typically leaving early in the morning when you're coming home uh, it's a little bit late at night because they like to operate through the hubs of uh, Toronto and Montreal and hey you get used to these things it's all tied into uh, what we consider the quality of life here. When it comes to the size of the island itself, we are 108,860 square kilometers. So we are of a significant size. Like I said, we have over 17,000 kilometers of coastline and, uh, and that's a lot of land mass, which gives us a tremendous outdoors. We have all the forest uh, and, and it's, a, it's a very, uh, I'll say safe forest. We don't have a lot of the, the wildlife that they do in other parts of Canada. We've got some bears and lynx, but we uh, we don't have uh, we only have black bears. We don't have grizzlies or anything like that. No snakes, no raccoons, no skunks. So you know the the forest here is a, a fairly uh, hospitable and comfortable place if you like to just w walk or maybe you're into fishing and hunting. Maybe you're into these things. We call them speed bumps but we do have a very robust moose population and uh, moose hunting is quite popular here. And as I mentioned, you know, yes, we do have lots of coastline. We have uh, a recreational fishery, we have a ground fishery, uh, and even just for uh, sightseeing, there's tons and tons and tons of great uh, tours that are offered. Uh, even for locals, uh, we've got uh, whales, we've got uh, seabirds, we've got uh, icebergs seasonally. A lot of people think that we love the icebergs. Well, we do because they are completely majestic. But every year when the ice comes in, it makes it very cold here. That continues and that gets old. So it's a, it's a blessing and a curse all at the same time. This is important. Our crime rate, I mean, it exists. We have crime, we have problems, we have drugs and, and these sorts of things. But compared to other parts of the country and the world, it is very, very low. And that, of course, makes it a great place to raise your family. So one of the key takeaways that I want to make sure everybody has from here today is if you are looking for a place where you can live, raise your family, enjoy nature, but still enjoy the amenities of a city and a vibrant community, 
Newfoundland really is a great place that you could come, visit, take us for a test drive, and come get to know us. We'd love to say hello. We'd love to invite you into our, our home, into our community, into our province. And folks, there you go. I hope that's been a bit of fun. I hope uh, I've, I've set the record straight on some things. Again, feel free to share it. Thank you so much for following along, and I'll see you next time.